bin's wieder, okay, so neu Haram, hier mit meinem Let's Play von Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Duel Destinies. Und wir haben im letzten Part bewiesen, dass der Temataro, also der Typ, der sich als den, diesen Yokai verkleidet hat, Phineas Filch war. Und das soll heißen, damit steht das Alibi von LeBelle überhaupt nicht mehr. Heißt, wir können ihm endlich aufs Maul hauen. Yes! Das gefällt mir. 19. April 10.25 Uhr. District, District Court Defendant Lobby Nummer 3. We did it, Apollo! We finally dragged Mr. LaBelle into court! Yeah. Hey, why the long face? I can't help but feel I'm missing something important. Plus, Prosecutor Blackwell's bound to mount a counterattack. You really are a warrior ward, aren't you? It'll be fine! That mystery figure who opened a forbidden chamber for Mr. Filch. Had to have been Florent Bell. I know, but that's not what's bugging me. I wish I could put my finger on it, though. <laughs> At any rate, the big showdown with Mr. Bell is up next. So chin up, Apollo. Das ist meine Ansage. Ach, Athena ist so toll. Immer am Anfeuern. Na dann, 19. April, 11 Uhr. District Court, Courtroom Number 4. Court is back in session! Our next witness is... That Joker? Yes, I'm acting on behalf of the mayor in this very important matter. Ich meine, schaut es euch mal an. Grüne Haare... Blasses Gesicht, also Make-up und ein violetter Anzug. Das ist eins zu eins der Joker! Ähm, ihm fehlt nur noch ein etwas. Let's put a smile on his face! Why so serious? Okay, ich höre schon auf. Batman toll. It seems the witness is pretty dumb. Pretty disposed at the moment! <laughs> Surely you jest. I will hold you to your promise. I remember that. Oh, my deepest apologize. This is Florent LaBelle, personal aide to Mayor Tanma. Or should I say, the accused? Ouch! Like the poor mayor hasn't suffered enough. Well, what business do you have with me? I'm a very busy man, so let's make this as brief as possible. Your boldness. All oh, right. <laughs> Mr. Finch, testimony has revealed a hole in your alibi, and for this reason. You are suspected of having some sort of connection with the case at hand! <sighs> to think I'd be associated with this entire lurid affair. Well, I'm not, so may I go now? I have very important matters to attend to. I think so, Mr. LaBelle. Do you realize what a serious crime you've committed? Witness! You are being accused of perjury! This is your chance to clear the air! Fine. The truth is, I faked my alibi for a very good reason. The mayor was obviously the killer, so I created a fake alibi to confuse the matter. You see, as his personal aide, I felt I had to protect him. Sorry! <laughs> you think this is funny? Without your alibi, you're a suspect too! What were you really doing at the time of the crime? <laughs> Peasant! How dare you accuse me! Stop selling and tell the court what you were really doing at the time of the crime! Silence. 
Die Musik hat aufgehört, auf Simons Befehl. Simon, du Spast! Enough jabbering. Swords have been drawn. The time for talk is past. Swords? What swords? This is a duel to the death. The fate of the accused rests in our hands. Be gone, you have coldly heart. The battlefield has no place for her. Again? Oh my! Spill me, please! See what du spast! So much for studier Jackals. Yep, er hat sie wieder aufgebrochen. Das wird Routine. Ah! Those chains hindered my foe that hits what heads would rule this day. This gives keeping your head on in court a whole new meaning. Why the witness please deliver the accused death now? You know of what I speak. <laughs> Most certainly! His goose is already cooked! Time to stick a fork in him! Whatever he has to say can't be good! As I told Prosecutor Blackwell during the recess, I rushed right over the fox chamber when I heard L little Jinxie scream! What? Then! Drum roll, please. I saw Mayor Tema opening the Forbidden Chamber's door. But, but, but. There you have it. The mystery man who opened the chamber door, as witnessed by one Phineas Fitch. It was the accused. There was never any third party. Oh, and that's not all. I heard something quite startling there at the scene of the crime. Startling sounds bad. The mayor, who was barely conscious, murdered this. Forgive me, Jinxie, I killed the elder man. That's right, the elder man act the mayor actually confessed to the murder right then and there. He confessed! Scheiße! Oh nee! Urda! Urda in the court! This is quite conclusive testimony if it stands! Just so, and quite astonishing, I may add. I only learned of this fact during the recess. <laughs> I just love surprises, don't you? That's why I saved the best for last. Consider it a gift from me to you! No way. I don't believe Mr. LeBell Le heard the mayor confess. But... But is this really true? Did Mayor Tama really confess? It is indeed. During that last recess, I confirmed it with the mayor's daughter. It would seem Mayor Timba actually did confess. Hmm, the testimony is quite favorable to the prosecutions! This is LaBelle. Yes, I called earlier about the party reservations. That's right, and I'll be calling my little shin thing. Mayor Timba's conviction, Gala. A splendid time is guaranteed for all. All but the mayor and his defense. <laughs> well, as it seems, our witness is a very busy man. Let's get right to his testimony. Mr. DeBell, please tell us what you saw when you came upon the scene of the crime. Oh man. That's not good. Jetzt muss aber auch bitte eine Lücke in seinem. Äh. Oh man, wie heißt das jetzt nochmal? In seiner Aussage sein, genau. 
I was in the hallway, hiding in the shadows. That's when I heard the confession. Upon learning of her father's crime, little Jinxie fled without ever noticing me. I am imme immediately after that, the mayor came too, stood up, up and opened the forbidden chamber. As I ran in terror, the demon emerged from his prison. In shock, I fled down the hallway to my right, to the one with the phone at the end. I must say, this is a shocking revelation! Quite unexpected! To think the defendant actually confessed then and there to his crime! Per perhaps the guilt was too much to bear, so he confessed to his daughter. Do you realize you should not have winded such crucial testimony from the court? Ah ha 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 ha! Once again, sorry! It just, I just, I feared being accused of a mansion coming up that most unpleasant scene. Ah, uh, where did the mayor's confession have to be brought up this guy? We'd better do something before the judge declares the mayor guilty. <laughs> As a death row inmate once told me in years gone by. There is a time to fight and a time to yield, a time to live and a time to die. Ah! He's laying in on real thick now. The defense may now cross-examine the witness! Danke. Würde ich gerne machen. Kreuzverhör! What Lebel saw. Then... Gott sei Dank gibt es tatsächlich eine Lücke in seiner ekelhaften Aussage. Ähm, muss ich jetzt nur noch finden? So, in shock. Down the hallway to my right, to the one with the phone at the end. So, das, ähm, Moment. Das passt dann aber wieder nicht zu der Aussage von Jinxie. Account of the demon in the hallway near the crime scene. She says it fled toward the foyer. Sie kann die Polizei. Sie hat die Polizei angerufen. Objection! Florent LaBelle, you're lying about having witnessed these events from the hallway. <laughs> what on earth do you mean? You are scared to fool the rest of us in, Miss Justice! If Mr. LaBelle had really fled down into the hall with the phone in it, he would cross path with Miss Tenma. What's this? After she discovered the crime scene, she immediately went to call the police. Then, after making her call, she went back to the main hall. Whereupon she en encountered the demon, Yokai, or whatever you want to call it. As for me, I call it Phineas Filch in a Tamataro costume. The encounter happened right here, where the hallways meet. As for Mr. LaBelle, if he had fled here, Phoenix escaped from the Yokai imposter. Except Miss Tenma told us that there was no one else in the hall. In short, Miss Tenma did not see you in the hall because you were never really there. Ah! My eyes! My beautiful eyes! Ha! Not such a fabulous scent now, is it? But Mr. Justice, the witness also stated that he heard the mayor confess. If he was lying about hearing the confession from the hall, then where was he when he heard it? Inside the fox chamber. Where else? Hmm, but isn't that within the very crime scene? It is, 
your honor, and that means he's not really a witness. Rather, he is the third party I've been alleging this whole time. What? You think I'm the killer? How dare you? Silence. Ah, die Musik ausgeschaltet. Foolish Bob. A true man knows when he is beaten. A shield of lies comes to naught before a foe with the sword of truth bared. Prosecutor Blackwell, what are you? I thought we were on the same side. You are mistaken. There are no sides here, save for my cold, steely edge of judgment. You are alone upon this battle, with naughty but your lies and sickly sweet perfume. Hör auf dich einzusprühen, ist ja eklig. Wow, what just happened? Blackwell is really tearing into him. You heard the mayor's confession from the inside, did you not, you deviant dandy? Not a sole location from which you could've seen and heard the mayor and the tanuki. Without either of them noticing, you was right there in the fox chamber. Oh my! So that's how it's going to be! Fine, I'll come clean then! Seriously? You admit to being there in the fox chamber? I do. I did enter the room after the murder. But I was afraid of being falsely accused, so I lied about it. I feel terrible about lying like that. But it's a verbal cologne I use to protect myself. You'd better explain yourself, Mr. LaBelle. Yes, of course. I was just about to get to that. The witness is gaining on thin ice! I'll remind you that perjury is a very serious crime! Now, let's hear your testimony again! This time without your perfume of lies! Oh yeah, bitte ohne Parfum. Zu viel Parfum stinkt nämlich auf Dauer. I did enter the fox chamber after the murder. But I didn't enter until after Chingsi had heard the confession and left. I heard the mayor groan and hide hid behind the folding screen there. What I saw there up close, it was absolutely horrifying. So you see, I was there but merely watching from behind the screen. From behind the screen! Why yes, I believe you wouldn't be spotted if you were there! Just so. He could see everything without being spotted by the victim or the Tanuki village. Suffice to say, he was a mere witness to the events rather than an actual third party. This guy's as slippery as an eel. <laughs> Apollo, you think he's telling the truth? Well, he was in the fox chamber, so at least that much must be true. The defense might cross-examine our slightly voyeurs voyeuristic witness! Yeah, dieser ekelhafte voyeur. Oh man. Kreuzverhör! Wieso habe ich das jetzt so betont? In the fox chamber. So, dann wollen wir hier mal angreifen. Das ist jetzt nämlich so ein, ein kleines bisschen zu vage. Was war bitte schön so horrifying? Could you describe the crime scene a bit more detail? Hmm, and what exactly would you like details about? Well, what I'd like to ask you about is... 
Hm. Mal sehen, die Federn. Nee. Forbidden Chamber. Ja, machen wir mal die Mordwaffe. Could you describe the state of the weapon that weapons that had been used at the scene? The spear had been thrust all the way through Elderman Kyuubi. And there was that statue the Elderman used to bludgeon Mayor Tanma. That incredibly inspiring symbol had fallen to the floor. Alright, the statue. But why would he find it inspiring? Why exactly did I find the statue inspiring? <laughs> well, when I saw that statue, I felt as if it, the merger had been realized. It was like a celebration of union between town and village, an inspiring symbol of goodwill. A broken statue next to a bloody corpse. Real inspiring. Well, Mr. Justice, do you consider this statement to be of any importance? Is it important? Yep. I believe that you that to be extremely important. Importantly, I request that it be added to the testimony. A statue had fallen to the floor. It was a token of goodwill celebrating the manicable merger. Wow, danke für diese Aussage. Spast. Damit hast du ja jetzt ins eigene Fleisch geschnitten. Objection. Your lies have finally betrayed you, Mr. LaBelle. What possibly could you mean? You said the statue was like a celebration of u union between town and village. Isn't that correct? It is indeed. But what of it? The two yukai are joining hands in goodwill. As if they were celebrating the money couple merger. Something the matter? So, how did you really know that this statue was meant to be a symbol of goodwill again? What? Justice Duno, explain yourself and make it quick. This statue was meant to symbolize goodwill in its original form, but that was a secret. A secret? And ever do you mean? What I mean is that it broke when someone used it to strike Mayor Tamba on the head. What's left clearly makes it look like the two yokai are battling it out. Beep! The statue's secret and its true form were lost inside that locked room. For Miss Tamba is the only living soul who should know what it once looked like. So, Mr. LaBelle, where could you have possibly seen the statue in its original form? <laughs> what do you mean? Where? The only possible answer is this. You saw the statue in its original form? Right there in the room where the other man was murdered before it was broken. How dare you? M Mr. Justice, are you accusing the witness with some sort of crime? Yes. Yes, I am. Florent LaBelle. I accuse you of the murder of Element Rex Kyuubi. Ah! See, what du spast! Order! Order! Mr. LaBelle! You've been accused of murder! Do you have anything to say in your defense? Ah! How could you possibly accuse me? The embodiment of beauty! Way to go, Apollo! This is the conclusive evidence we needed! Magnifico! We've got you now! We know you killed the element! Now, admit it! I... I... Uh. Silence! Oh! 
Okay, was hat er wohl jetzt wieder zu sagen, unser lieber, lieber Simon? Das erfahren wir im nächsten Part. Egal ob positiv oder negativ, Bewertung immer gern gesehen. Das war's von meiner Seite. Wir sehen uns das nächste Mal wieder. Sehr guys!